The slipperiness is something else in the rain. What you're seeing here is a glimpse at what my life could look like when I'm in my 70s or 80s. Oh, wow. You feel it immediately. Oh, now that's a real difference. Wow. This whole getup right. is called Agnes, or the Age Gain Now Empathy System. And here at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology Age Lab, the goal is simple. Improve the quality of life of the elderly and their caregivers. People are living a lot longer, but many of us will have at least one or two chronic conditions, and Agnes gives you that feeling. The team here designing Agnes to replicate the effects aging can have on our senses. How would the general population benefit if everyone tried this out and experienced Agnes for themselves? One of the greatest challenges that we've uncovered here at the Age Lab and elsewhere is that we really can't envision our future self. So if everyone could wear Agnes, they would be in better touch with what that future self is. And what I would hope is that they would invest in themselves physically, cognitively. So I gave it a try. Getting at some of the muscle loss you might start to experience. So this is closer to 20 pounds. Sophia yeah. and Taylor from MIT helped me put on weighted vests, gloves, special shoes, and various braces and pads to mimic the strain aging puts on the body. And these goggles, which simulate changes in my vision, along with a helmet for safety. I am Agnes. I feel completely disoriented, and I feel like my empathy and understanding of what people who are aging go through every day, it's already stepping up. I haven't even moved yet. Now they're guiding me through a series of tasks. First up, grabbing a book off a shelf. Wow. That was way more difficult than I expected it to be. I immediately knocked over pictures on the top of the shelf, and then I had to navigate my hand through some obstacles. And now even just holding the book is a little more, like, opening the book is more difficult than I expected it to be. I can read that, The Flamboyant Garden. But let's go to an actual page, Introduction. Perhaps I should, I really, I truly cannot read this. How about getting behind the wheel? Even though I'm pretty tall, I slowly get in and buckle up. Looking at this simulation of a street. I know that there are pedestrians walking on the sidewalks. There's a car cutting across right now. But I would not, if I were driving on a real road right now, I would be very nervous. Now I'm taking Agnes out into the real world. I love bananas. I go to pick up some groceries. <sighs> Bending down just to pick up a bag of ice from the bottom shelf is a major challenge. All right, that's all I can handle. We're always told to respect our elders. One of the big things is I want people not to think aging is about decline. What we have found is that younger people in particular become more patient, more empathetic, and more polite. Oh, mm. yeah. And in addition to fostering that empathy in the people who wear Agnes, the suit helps MIT provide insight to cities and organizations and brands to better consider daily life for an aging population. And wearing the suit was an eye-opening experience and actually one that you have had yourself. I, I, I'll get to that in a moment, but just more from you. What, like, what are you gonna take away? I think that I need to, I, I like to think of myself as an empathetic person, right. but I think that I need to be even more considerate of folks who are taking a little, I live in New York, I walk fast, yeah. and I need to realize that Just watching people the piece makes you yeah. feel that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And I did something similar in 2006, but I also looked the part because we had a renowned uh, makeup artist from Hollywood, uh, Tony Gardner, came in and made me appear to be, I was 45 at the time, now I'm 85, and I can remember walking out, we were in Times Square Studio, and I remember walking out, and nobody noticed me. Like you're invisible wow. yeah. when you're, I mean, I, it, was, it was stark to me. Right. And how you went grocery shopping. I remember going grocery shopping and teenagers snickering. Mm. And I heard that, but I also wow. had people that were helping me as well when, when I tried, because your range of motion, because I had the same thing. The shelf, yeah, but it was just a real, real eye opener. And yeah. you're gonna have much more on Nightline? I am, yes, coming up on Nightline tonight. We'll do a longer version of it and see yeah. me walk even slower as yeah. I went yeah. to the grocery Agnes. store. Agnes. Slipping Agnes. everywhere in the rain, and you yeah. really, it opens your, your heart and mind, you for sure. so your insightful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, Will. You got it.